But mathematically, I could tell you the best match I saw all weekend. What's that? It was not Azumi and Mesa Gura, but that match was awesome. Mesa High speed, baby. Uh, Tanahashi and Ishii. Oh, my God. This match was so <laughs> awesome. This match was a thousand stars. And I <laughs> think you may be overrating dude, it a smidge. No, I'm not. It was a thousand stars. <laughs> These two guys are the greatest. They're the absolute greatest. And I was it's true. In just, one case, it's very arguable. I was just talking the other day about that. It was it was a she and and then, and then Adam they Cole. said they heard you and said we're going to have the best match for Brian. No, it was a she and Adam Cole, and I was trying to explain what I was trying to explain, and I just couldn't explain it. It's like is she whenever he wrestles anybody, it's like. I don't know. But the he, point of this is... He melds into their match? Well, it's like, there there is an Ishii match, but but he will have the other person's match. The Adam Cole match was totally an Adam Cole match, but it was also an Ishii match. I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's he's like... He's going to let you shine as much as you're going to let him shine, and he's going to work your style of match well, as much as vice versa, whereas a Tanahashi Nakamura ex- flair... I know how to explain it. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So uh, there's... Uh, I, here's a good one. Remember that Ric flair Rey Mysterio match from a long time ago? Dude, That's that match cool? was bizarre. It was Ric Flair versus Rey Mysterio on a Nitro. And it was like a Styles clash, and it was just like totally weird. So there's a Styles clash, and then there's a match where it would be like uh, uh, Zack Sabre Jr. I'm trying to think of a great example. Zack Sabre Jr. versus... Um, actually, Okada is a good one, because Okada always works the other guy's style of match. So if you do a Zack Sabre Jr., Versus Okada match, it's going to be a it, like Okada is going to work a Zack Saber Jr. match with Zack Saber Jr. Does that make sense? Yeah. So she he totally worked an Adam Cole match with Adam Cole, but he also it was absolutely an Ishii match as well. It's like it's 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 usually one or the other. I guess that's what I'm trying to point at. It's usually one or the other. It's a Brian match or it's a Mike match. It's a Brian match or it's a Mike match with a Ishii. He managed to do. An Adam Cole match, but it was also simultaneously an Ishii match. So anyway, I was just marveling about this. I didn't even know how to put it into words. So then, it's Tanahashi and Ishii, okay? And, uh, you know, Tanahashi and Ishii do not work the same style of match. They're very different workers. Tanahashi is, uh, you know, if you've never seen a lot of Tanahashi, it's like a Shawn Michaels. It's a professional wrestling uh old school work with some cool stuff and he's so smooth and it all looks great and then there's a Shii who's like a fire hydrant and uh he just hits you as hard as he can and uh you hit him and he doesn't sell it and then he does so anyway that's what you're going to get with these two guys so what happened here is it was not a Tanahashi match it was not a Shii match it was not Tanahashi wor- working a Shii's match or a Shii working Tanahashi's match it was is she working as Tanahashi and Tanahashi working as is she? They switched places <laughs> and then they did their match together. I'm punching the mic. I'm so excited. So like I'm watching this match and it's just they always there's always a spot where like the guy he, he hits a she and he hits a, and a she goes back and he goes back and he goes back and all of a sudden he just stops selling and he goes ah and then he fires up and he starts hitting the other guy. They do that in every single Ishii match. This time, Ishii is pounding Tanahashi. And he's and Tanahashi's going back to the room. And all of a sudden, Tanahashi gets in the corner. And then Tanahashi goes, ah! And he starts firing up. And Ishii's, he, Ishii's getting knocked back. He's getting knocked back. He's getting The place is going crazy. And then Ishii gets knocked all the way back to the corner. And then Tanahashi hits him with one shot. And then Ishii suddenly... It's like a cartoon. You ever seen the cartoon? Actually, we, we did in Paper Bag Bandit as well. Where, you know... Uh, uh, whoever the the little guy's getting chased by the big guy, and all of a sudden the little guy stops. He's like, "I'm gonna chase you!" And then he starts chasing the big guy. The guy's like, "Ah!" And he starts running away from the little guy, and is like totally backwards. 
And then all of a sudden, like, the big guy realizes, wait a second, what am I running from this little geek for? And then he goes after the little guy again. It's old school cartoon stuff. Well, Hunt Tanashi pummels his she all the way into the corner, and his she is selling, and it's like the, the script has been flipped. And all of a sudden, he hits one more, and his she's like, what am I doing? I'm a she. And he stops selling, and he just does a face. And all of a sudden, the crowd's like, oh, but they can't say anything. You know, they can't chat, chant, you effed up. They just have to go like, you effed up, whatever. And then Tanashi, like, he's like, uh-oh, what have I done? And as she starts pounding him back to the corner again, I'm dying watching this match. And then, like, they're doing the near falls at the end. And all of a sudden, Ishii whips out the sling blade. Ishii! And Tanashi takes his big bump for the sling blade. I'm like, oh, my God. And then, you know, he hits a big brain buster. Everybody thinks it's over. And Tanahashi kicks out. And then Tanahashi grabs Ishii. And Tanahashi lifts him up. And boom! He brain busters Ishii on his head. I love this match with all of my all of my being. And, you know, I am the first guy. I am the first guy that complains why are these matches so long? Why does every match have to go 40 minutes? I'm sick of it. Like, go 18 to 23 or whatever and get in and get out. You don't need to always go so long. This match goes 23 minutes. And if I hate these stupid chants, like, fight forever. But, bro, if ever there was a match that I was hoping these two dudes would just fight forever and just go 40 minutes for once. This is a match that needs to go 40 minutes. And they stopped at 23. I was appalled. Gah. No, man, make this you want more. This match was so awesome. <laughs> so awesome. Hey, make you want more. That's what the G1's about. Then they give you 30. You know what I mean? They, they could do it if they wanted to. How do you make a result that's really not in, in doubt? How do you make it special? How do you make it different? How do you give the people something for them to sink their teeth into? Because I think everybody thought Tanahashi was going to walk out of there with the win. And he did. But how do they do it? They do it in the way that Brian said. And this will be shocking for some people who have been under a rock for a long time or just don't view anything outside of the States. But Hiroshi Tanahashi is arguably the greatest pro wrestler of all time. He's one of he's he's no doubt one of the greatest baby faces to ever walk the face of the earth. And in this modern era, I would put him up against anybody and as long as his body is is willing and is able to help him out his brain will carry him forever he can walk out there like jimmy valiant now and just walk out strum the the invisible guitar the air guitar and people will lose their minds for the next 30 years he's amazing i don't know if she is going to hold up that long but frankly the fact that he's in the position he's in after all of those years you know, New Japan's done a lot of things that drive me nuts. Hey, look at all the titles right now. Pretty much are tied up with something that's got to do with the Bullet Club or something that's got to do with the House of Torture. But one thing they've been able to do is keep their stars as stars, and they make sure up and down the roster there is a depth and there is credibility. You know, I, I think that uh, the highest praise that I could give this match, if I have not praised it enough, is I think this is now the number one match I may have ever seen where if you have somebody that does not watch wrestling, okay, and and they are they are willing, I mean, if they're like a pacifist, they don't like violence, I mean, don't show them this match. But if they're willing to see a confrontation between two men, a battle, if they're willing to watch that, this may be, like, I can't imagine anybody who is willing to watch two people confront each other that would not absolutely love this match there's no blood there's no like excessive violence or anything like that it's just a battle of wills and it's got like you know if if it's your wife old tanahashi's handsome man and then you know if if you're uh if it's your your whoever uh, she there's no one tougher than she i mean it's everything you could want you get your everything legends, you could want in yeah. life an underdog God. Well, yeah i Look, feel like it's... showing it to my wife like i bet you anything if i showed my <laughs> wife who watches no wrestling hates wrestling wants nothing to do with wrestling i'll bet if i showed her this match by the end she'd be like dude that was awesome 
It was so great. This is your Rocky Four, Brian. Dude. I feel it. You feel like running up them steps right now, don't I, you? I feel like just letting you finish the show and I'll go watch the damn match again. Man, look at that. We're going to get up. Man, if you go out, make a montage right now with you thinking about this match. The match just you know flickering in your eye with you getting ready. The music behind you. Maybe the, the music that was playing all of Friday during that one segment when, when we were trying to get a show done. That type of music there. Inspiration. The great inspiration that is Tanahashi and she. So this person says, how much do you have to know about the two characters and their shtick to get the match? Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Zero! No, no. He, Nothing! He, no, no. Here, listen. Okay. If you know... Tanahashi and Ishii. It helps. And and everything. It'll be like multitudes better, okay? Sure. But you don't need to know nothing exactly about either of them. It's wrestling. To it's get how great the story wrestling. of this match. Jack because, Briscoe, Dory Funk. You know, the, the story obviously is is that uh, you know, she is just the toughest guy. And, uh, and you know, they do the whole whatever, but you don't need to know anything about Ishii to look Look at Tanahashi. Look at Ishii. The story's told. <laughs> like, if you look at them, and they you already the understand story. the character they're going to play. They tell the story with how they work, and they tell the story. Again, When if you understand the story, some of the things they're doing to each other then stand out more, then they mean more. But it doesn't matter. If you had never seen Owen and Brett before... You saw what FTR was doing to each other and thought that was kind of cool. For the people that knew it was extra special, that's what makes Tanahashi just great. He is the best. And take any match of his, almost against anybody, his top-tier matches, Omega, Nakamura, you name the opponent and present it to somebody who's never seen them before, it, it, it it's almost undeniable. How is anybody not going to come out of that a fan of Hiroshi Tanahashi? He is the ultimate pro wrestler. Rusty, Rusty Rose, ten four eighty six. <laughs> dusty, is it Rusty or Dusty? <laughs> it's uh, it's Dusty. Harmon Blanchett. <laughs> okay, out of ring. <laughs> Herman and Blanchett. <laughs> Harwin. <laughs> Way back then, they had cha chain barricades, <laughs> and then they had a tag team with Rich Fl uh, Rick Flair and some more guys, and so that was that. I'm just too <laughs> who, who did Rusty Rhodes wrestle? If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.